and Violet and I are going to Laredo, are you? No. Oh, to Far Valley then? No. Nope, wrong again. Hmm. Well, where? The Paso Bravo. Oh, well, where's that? But this stage ain't headed for Paso Bravo. I know. Wells Fargo runs south through the next outpost. You might be able to catch that. But it don't run all the time. Afternoon. Are you thirsty? Little water? Thanks. That'll be one dollar. You see, things cost a lot on the frontier. Of course, if you ain't thirsty... <sighs> one dollar. That was good. One more. Want whiskey? No, thanks. Hmm? Same price as water. Ain't much for whiskey. Thanks a cent. Yeah. Uh, 
just so my customers don't think I'm being too hard or taking advantage of them on the second round, I only charge half price. Uh, real honest. Oh, I make out all right. Going to Paso Bravo? Yeah, long ways to go yet? Oh, good 20 miles, eh? You'd be better off with a pair of irons. Just happens I got two Colts. I don't wear no weapons. Yeah, in the sun, that walk ain't gonna be any too pleasant. Wanna buy a horse or a mule? Could use a mule. Yeah. Uh, I got a mule, and her name is Sal. Uh, Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. That's a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? But a mule don't cost no more than twenty dollars. <laughs> sure, but you see, it's a uh, well. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Things cost more here on the frontier. Yeah. She, uh, moves pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure taking your money. Well, now, who's to say I won't just kill you and take both the mule and my money out of here? My friend. Want a cigar? Only one dollar. Oh, thanks. I'm better off with my own. Ah, that's a good-looking cigarillo. Here. What's it cost? Uh, nothing. I'm uh, not a salesman. It's free. Hmm. I bet I could sell that for two dollars. <laughs> I won't, though. Nothing like a good smoke. Hmm? Hmm. On a house. <laughs> so long. <laughs> I wish you luck, my friend.
I guess that'll teach you not to mess around with Ackenbar. Sheriff, uh, maybe you'd like to give us a reward uh, for getting rid of these two horse thieves, huh? Yeah, and you should make us your deputies. I do swear ah! to faithfully perform my duty and to uphold the laws of the... How do I know them two are the real horse thieves? Hear that, Counselor? Why, it sounds as if he was accusing us. Uh, Sheriff, I would... Uh, seems to me that uh, Clark here and... Uh, the rest of Akbar's hands uh, were justified in killing these two men here. Uh, <laughs> Did you hear the old goat? Hooray for the counselor! Well said, counselor. Akbar won't forget this. Uh, uh, thank you. And uh, I might add that the burial course will come out of the. Uh... Yeah, I get you. Come out of the town treasury, so that settles everything. Hey, now listen. I live in this town too, and what's more, I pay your taxes. If you're going to clean up, counselor, what are you waiting for? The first piece of business is the front of my locale. Well, boys, you here? All right, the show's over, girls. Go on inside. You too, Danny. <laughs> Guess the best thing to do is go in and have a drink. Hold on there. Somebody killed my mule, buddy. Who did it? He was caught in the middle of your battle. <laughs> they ought to pay. It's their fault. <laughs> Those two ain't the ones who did it. You see, the mule was hitting the right side of the head, and you were over on the right. Say, who are you? Tell me how come you don't pack no gun. That's my business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stranger, what's one mule? Let's have a drink. I'm buying. Thanks, but I ain't much for liquor. <laughs> <laughs> my way to think we got a dude here. You don't pack a gun, a man never drinks, but for Pete's sakes, he sure knows a good cigar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, what about the mule? Well, I'm easy, stranger. To want to see a man crying over his mule, Akambar is paying the bill. Mule cost $100. What's that? Why, you're crazy. A mule don't cost more than $20. That's what a mule's worth, yeah. But this mule cost 100 you see. Are you saying that maybe Akambar pinches his pennies? <laughs> $100? Akambar don't pinch his pennies. You better hold on to it, dude. This funeral's round here run a little high. <laughs> Ranch name in here. Hmm. Not all right? Hmm. Gonna be up along? Till the next stage out. Oh. Who's Akambar? The big boss. What up? Everything. Including this hotel? Not yet. Uh, he owned the sheriff? Not much the sheriff can do. He's all alone, got a half wit for a deputy. Uh, sounds like Akambar's got this town hogtied. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you buck him up against the wall, buddy. Let's buck him up against the wall. Shake him up. Yeah. A slow song, John. Give me the money. No good. Stop it. Wait, it's no good. Shake him up. You're only shaking one time. Hey, Rose is going to sing a song. Sing here. I was trying to wait. Se ne va la mia vita. Come il fiume. E il vento. La luna. Eppure non ho fretta. Non ho fretta. Mi spingono i ricordi e non mi aspetta nessuno. No, non voglio perdermi lontano. Non so dov'è, ma passare nei tuoi occhi e arrivare al tuo cuore. 
Whiskey? Just cider. Ah, just cider. Se ne va la mia vita. Non mi aspetto nessuno. 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 Come on now, boys. Let's have a big chill for Ozzy. Three cheers for Ozzy. Look at that there, Grandpa. Needs a little air now. Don't move, Danny. Real fine. Hey, ain't no lady, honey child. What are you standing for? Sit down, pretty boy. Didn't you hear your mother? Come on, you dumb goat. How often do I have to tell you? No firing off guns in the bar here. <laughs> <laughs> we make a pretty boy afraid. Let the kid alone, Hammerhead, and that goes for all of you. Now follow me. I'll buy you fellas a drink, but then beat it. Well, that's what you might call a pretty poor way of showing southern hospitality, but I'll take the drink anyways. Hey, well, look who's here. <laughs> You decided to drink our money away, eh? Don't tell me you drink cider. But not even my grandmother would drink this stuff. Come on, have a drink. When you're with men, you could at least pretend that you're one, too. <laughs> Come on, fella. Mister, I already told you, I'm not a drinker. Oh. When I say drink, you drink. Sometimes I wish that I was a man, Clark. I'd love to beat you to a pulp. What's the matter with you anyway? Ain't enough to kill two men in one day, is it? Have to push it. Well, no horseplay goes on in here, and Nackenbaum knows it. Now get out. Calm down, Rosie. I ain't gonna argue with you. Come on. Let's get before Rosie bears down on us. Looks like you need a little bit more than a sheriff to hide behind. Now you'll find yourself a woman's skirts. <laughs> <laughs> Fill her up tonight's a drinking night for me. And me. Just cider. Uh, if you'll allow me, miss. No, friend, not from you. Just remember, I don't go much for your kind. Not even when you go around without a pistol on. There, take your dollar. You don't owe me nothing. Is it you just don't like men, miss? Get out. Before I throw you out. And mister, stay out. Sorry, Mr. Hamill. Plot forgot the hotel was all filled up for the night. Was it Ackenbar's Umbers? Afraid so. Who else? I thought this hotel was yours. Well, it is, but only because hotels don't interest Ackenbar. Not yet, anyway. I'm going. They'd burn my place down if I didn't go along with them. If you want a little advice, no thanks. I'll give it to you anyway. If Ackenbar's boys are against you, you better just mount up and ride out of your pronto. Howdy there, Rosie. Easy, mister. Stay right there. Maybe you didn't get the point of what I told you last night. I got the point. Well, then? The window was open, is all. You might have done better if you'd crawled into a six-foot hole. Calm down now, Danny. I think our guest is going to leave us. You can get back to work now. Go on. You have a knack for giving orders. Occasionally I get results. Uh, you find the beds were all taken up at the hotel? You figured it. <laughs> Say, how come those I can buy hands are after you? Different ways of thinking. Stay out of their way, then. Because they got a knack of putting men they don't like into Boot Hill. Uh, try not to forget that. Where are you headed now? The Boot Hill. It's not funny, mister. I wasn't being funny. That's where I'm going. Where is it? It's several miles outside of town. If you don't have a horse... Danny! 
Have a horse saddle for our guest. Thanks. See it in your face. You're just like Mary. You're a sister Anna. Then, then you're Gary. I'd never have thought you'd have had the courage to return here. You haven't changed in the least since. You haven't changed in the least. Only now it doesn't matter. Wait, please. Anna, please stay a minute. You're the only. You listen to me. The Murrays, Dorothy, Mary. They're all dead because of you. Come on, I'll take you home. Excuse me for the hurry. I have to open the store, you see. Want to buy to eat? No, but if you don't mind, I'll have a seat. Sure, sit down. Start the whole story. Afterwards, we sold the farm. Didn't get much of a prize for it. Who wanted it after the fire? We did our best. The trouble was, you weren't around to help. If you weren't your part of the money. Who's the fellow that owns it now? Same man who just about bought out everyone. Ackenbach. The fire, since that day, does anybody talk any more about it? But I don't. Why? Has anyone told you anything? You're the only people I've talked to about it. Well, it's better for us if you aren't seen here. Right, Jonathan? Come on, Anna, don't exaggerate. You have to excuse her. She's a woman. By this point to consider, you know, we're merchants, and it wouldn't be too good if anybody... Yeah, sure. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. There's a customer out there. i got to wait on him. So long, Gary. And uh, man to man, if you left this part of the country, you'd be doing right. Sure, just between us men, eh? You're so much like her. How old are you? I reckon you're the age she was when... Uh, you think the money's the reason why I came back here? You came back, I don't know what to think. Oh, well, now all told, that makes $30. Afternoon, Mr. Jonathan. Mm -hmm. There's your change. Yeah, there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna raise my prices, too. Well, Louise, what are you having? Another pound of sugar? like hard work there. I'll give you a hand if you like. And it ain't gonna cost you one penny either. And what do you want for it? The metal? <laughs> Good to be out, ain't it? How many years did you do? Just what the hell do you mean? I got them too. Did a lot of time in the punishment cell. Mine are a little harder to see after ten years, but it's the same thing. Yeah, but then... You... I know why you got sent up. Don't be surprised. You see, Murray told me the whole story. You you know old Murray? Yeah. Were you here when they all got killed? Yep. Why? Do you know how the fire began? You got a little time to kill? Well, that seems that's the only thing I got to my name these days. Why didn't the sheep are as 
Stay and fight the fire instead of all three riding to town for help and claiming the fire started in the stables. The stables in these parts are always built downwind of the main house. I went to look and I saw the stables were burnt less than anything else. I was sorry for old Murray. He was the only one who stood up against Akumbad. That's why we were friends. And the sheep herders. Ha! The three Santa Maria brothers, they're well off now. They got a nice ranch, raised cattle for the benefactor Akumbad. Right, Yankee? Where'd you go? Don't try nothing. There's no sheriffs or women here. So come on, talk. He's got a terrible thirst. That's why he can't answer. Sure, after all those miles, man rode. But we uh, stopped him from drinking. You think maybe we should... Why, uh... uh, sure. Come on, boys. A refreshing drink will help you talk. <laughs> well, I'll be dying now. The critter won't even drink water. Wait a minute. He's thirsty. Where'd you go? Let him get sobered up a bit, Clark. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to. Well, help the man. <coughs> All right, talk. Come on now. He asked me, the fellow's about to faint. <laughs> hey, maybe we should get him a glass of water, huh? You're faking, mister. Talk. Talk. He's faking. Loosen his tongue. <coughs> Fainted like a woman. Let's go. We'll ask him again tomorrow. me, will you? What are you trying to do? Are you crazy? Don't you understand? You ain't well. You see, you should lie still. Make me lie still. Just try to. You like her? Who is she? A legend in these parts. She was my mother, and the whole territory was in love with her. Oh, she made men go out of their minds. Of course, that was because she was the only woman here. <laughs> well, she must have had quite a lot of fun. All kidding aside. She could have been rolling in a sea of gold dust. And she could have left that sea of gold to Rosie. But everybody took advantage of her. Because poor mother was my generous. You know, I saved the saloon from going bankrupt. Men are snakes, sidewinders, every one of them. And you, Rosie, now you just keep that in mind. The only thing in the world that counts is money. Lots of it. Funny all you can think of, Rosie. You'll admit that it appeals to you, too, if you're honest. Oh, I'm not against money, I suppose. You know something, Gary? We could work together, us two. Save it, Rosie. Don't make trouble. I see you're as stubborn as a mule. Mm. Mule. 
snake from Sidewinder. Oh, a viper, Gary. Okay, oh. Ivy, come on in. The room is free. Go ahead and do the washing. Since when does Ivy wash in here? Have a little look outside, and you'll see a stage. And there's a seat on it for you, all paid. You'll be leaving in ten minutes. Well, I see you've been thinking. You buy the ticket with your own money? <laughs> here, fella, put it on. Move. Am I wrong? Could it be you're in love? Come on, Danny, you shouldn't let jealousy bother you. You're a... Big boy now. If you were armed, I would. Someday you're gonna end up with a bullet in your head. All right, friend, come on. Let's go. You sure you can't make this in two days? I'm sorry about that, mister. Hey, Rick! How long are you gonna be? Fella here's impatient. Leave her five minutes. Do me a favor, Cal. Could you get me down that box? He's dead. Sure thing. I'm sorry, mister. Gotta... I have to get there for tomorrow. Seats are all taken. Well, couldn't you? Let him on. He can take my seat. I ain't going no place. Oh, yeah, that's what you well, think. Fuck <laughs> you. Know. Yeah. Hey, let me go! What do you think you're doing? Oh, let go of me! No! Come on! No! Oh, no! Please! Please! No! Come no! Please! Let me go! Come on! Let me go! Come on! Go. Come on! Go. Oh, this no, is, no. Come on! 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 It's almost like we was brothers, see? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Come on now, let's go. Guess you didn't hear what he said. Of course he didn't hear. He's still got a pail of water in his ear. What's the matter? Want the cigar? Here. Mm. All right, then. Next time I'll shoot you. But not in the head, in the belly, see? You want to scream from the pain. <laughs> Driver, let him have your rifle. You heard what I said. Well, come on, throw the gun down. Give it to him. It ain't loaded. Then go ahead and load it. Thank you. 
one rat and one, two, three, four, five pigs. self-defense, but I'm telling you anyway. Either you get out of town or I'm going to arrest you. Do you mind if I ask you just why I got to leave? I'll be square with you, Gary Hamilton. Now, the first thing is, what's the use of going and digging up what you're after? You know the burning down of the Murray's house was no accident as well as me. Who started the fire? Was there ever a trial? Was anybody convicted? Staying will only mean trouble for you, that's for sure. However, if you want to stay, why, well, that's your affair. I won't arrest you. But there's one thing I want you to do. I don't like tramps, so find yourself a job. All right. Say, you're near as good as me. Seems I did the right thing by hiring you. Thanks. Now, where'd you learn about shoeing? Cavalry. So did I. Hmm. I fought at Chattanooga. Hmm. I did too. Uh, what outfit were you in? Sixth Regiment. Are you sure? I don't remember no Sixth Cavalry Chattanooga. <laughs> there wasn't on the Confederate side, but I was on the Union side. Oh, well, what do you know? Say, I wonder if we might have shot at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Because if I'd been a shooting at you, you wouldn't have been here today. Hey, you just go on taking that part. We got a client. What do you want? Uh, the right front hoof. Uh... Yeah. It fits the hoof just fine. Listen. Huh? You don't know what kind of man Akambar is. Now, he ain't gonna let pass by what you did this morning, and... I mean, Akambar ain't no friend of mine either. Now, if you were to... Teach you how to handle a gun, Danny? No. Just forget what I did. Careful. Can't you see she's in pain? Easy, Daisy. It will be all right, Daisy. You're a marvelous horse. Yes, yes, easy. That's good. Come on. Now, relax, Daisy. It doesn't bother me to see a horse with a broken leg while shooting, that's all. But a horse giving birth, I can't bear to watch the pain. Hey, where are you going, Heavy? She's just coming around now. Ah, there she is. Hey! How about this one? Stormy! Firebird! Oh, oh, Firecloud, eh? Hey, boss! Dynamite! No place! That one name has got to be worthy of my son. I'm going to call you Big Prince. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a toast, boys. Hey, boss. Town counselor's here. Who is he? His name is Gary Hamilton. Uh, that's how he signed the hotel register. His name is Gary Hamilton. That information is worthless to me. His name doesn't mean anything. I want to find out exactly why he's in Paso Bravo, a man who can kill six men in one gun battle. I want to know what is in his mind, what he is hiding, Counselor. Down, down. Uh, it ain't so easy just to go up to this, to this Gary and ask what's in his mind. I don't pay good money for excuses. I want information.
would you? That wasn't very smart. Didn't you say you never carried a weapon? I began to think a bit differently. Why are you here? Mm. What's going on there? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's all right. Mm. See you at seven, then. Mm. Well, then? Now I know what you're looking for in Paso Bravo. But you're crazy. Don't you see what you're up against? Is that what you came here to tell me, Rosie? That filthy old counselor was talking to me tonight. He asked for information about you. There's a new face in town. It's the duty of a town official to stay informed. Just tell me you'll leave town tomorrow, and I'll come to you. Chose the wrong man, Rosie. Your offer is real nice. Only I'm staying here. Right, mister. I think I'll just go and tell Akambar who you are and what you're here for. Fine. Akambar will pay good money. But... But don't you see Akambar's too big? The man owns everyone. Maybe he already found out who you are. Hear that? It's men just roll in. They make a sport of killing others. A man looks the wrong way at them. So they shoot. Just plain killers, plain killers. That's all they know how to do. Hey. Have a little respect now. Come on. I mean, we're guests here tonight. <laughs> anyway, it gets our little friend here nervous. <laughs> Just take it easy now, Danny. Mr. Akombar ain't going to be too pleased when he finds out that a wicked boy like you wanted to hurt his son. Eh? <laughs> but I always thought you looked sort of like a woman, not a boy. Right, Paquito? Es siempre una mujer, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> you look a bit pale. Now, Danny, we remembered you when we were in Tucson. <laughs> and I want you to know that we got you a present. Six against one, who do you think you are? Get out of here. Come on, all of you, move. It happened all because of you, Rosie. You left a little boy without his mother. <laughs> Poor little thing was kind of nervous. Wanted to pull a gun. By the way, where were you, Rosie? You're walking on thin ice, Jose, so take it slow. And you can't count on your father to protect you forever. Don't forget that. He's a great man, isn't he, my father? All right, Rosie. We had our fun for tonight. You should learn to appreciate <laughs> presents when you get they them. They meant for the years of Asuncion. Filthy dog. You know, you're quite a woman, Rosie. Out! Get out! Go back to your halls, you filthy dog! Just be lucky and kill one. But what then? You should have got here earlier. Too bad I could have presented you to the brothers. The Santa Maria's. They just got in tonight. The Santa Maria's? You mean they were here? I've got to have a horse standing in pronto. Drink so much whiskey, my son. Come along. <gasps> That's it. Good. Now throw it all up. There, good. If you could only love. <laughs> Any false moves and I'll cut you down. You come back here into the room. Come on. All right, Mama, you and the girl over by the window. You sit down. I want to know just one thing. Was it Akinbar that gave you the money to set fire to the Murray's house? I loved Murray. That accident was a real tragedy. We prayed all night, senor. I even wept. They're dead, mamita. I see, see. That is true, senor. Did you pray all night long for Akinbar to give you this ranch as a reward? Please let go, senor. Tell the truth, then. Were you working for Akinbar? No. You're wrong, senor. Let the kid go. Fight. 
Akambar told us to tell him when they talk faster. I'm waiting. Well, go on. He said to tell him when they gone to bed and not to go back to the rancho. To make sure nobody lived, you blocked the doors. Ain't that right? No. No, I promise. No. Oh, we were supposed to just tell him. You forced me to do it, Jesus. Oh, no. I swear upon the body of my brother, you will pay for this gringo. I combat will spit on your carcass. Then I will throw you to my dogs. Madre de Dios. Fire! Fire! And what then? I made sure. One kept quiet, senor. I stabbed him in the belly. What do I care about him? What about the gringo? Tell me. Is the gringo dead? Answer. I want to know. Adios, papa. I am going. They're waiting for me. My boy, have all the fun you want. As long as I'm here, you mustn't worry. The world belongs to a boy like that. He's a prince. <laughs> if that gringo has a woman, take her. Then you'll trap him. <laughs> oh, padron. I would say your son is almost brilliant. <laughs> he is brilliant, you bungling peon. It was a wonderful idea. If it works, our troubles are over. Tell me then. Don't make me lose any more time. Una mujer. A woman. Ah, maybe I think there is a woman, Padron. Come in and look around if you'd like. Down, senor. We are just looking around a little. Mind if I ask you, Paquito? Look who is here. A pleasure as always for me, Miss Anna. Hey, brother, say hello to Anna. We came here especially because of you, Miss Anna. Am I right, brother? See, si. To pay a visit. What have we done to you? Nothing. What's this about, then? You know what? It was a real tragedy when the Murray's ranch burned down. Huh? You see what happens? Who knows where fires can start? But you got no cause to be worried. Much. That fire was it. A... Then you set fire to... Dirty killers! <laughs> murderers! Now, just be quiet, Miss Anna. You're coming with us. Don't worry. You're under the protection of Akinbar. But, but what did I do to Akinbar? You? <laughs> Tell me, what could you do? Akinbar wants Gary Hamilton. Send them to us. Or you won't see your wife again. And do it pronto. Akinbar's impatient. Vamos. But I don't know where to find Gary. Or even where to look for him. Coward, you knew perfectly well it wasn't an accident. You never said anything. Coward, I hate you. I hate you. You're worn out, piano. 
Always the same old repertory. These sad songs make for a bad effect. They make me drink too much. Hey, Danny. You leaving? I'm just gonna get some airs out. Yeah, you do that. Think they have the world in their hands because they have a pistol on. Here's one for you, Rosie. All right, come on, storekeep. Hold it. Uh, uh, Are you sure? But I mean dead sure. <laughs> they sure as I am that the sun will rise. Her name's Asuncion. <laughs> I know she lives north of town. And what's more, I, I know how to find the place. Jose, Jose's always up there at night. There's a small escort, two or three men at the most, no more. But if it were done right, you know, it might just work. But I have to have a good horse. Sure. Now you tell me how to get there. No, come on, mister. I got a stake in this too. So what's my share of this adventure? Whatever you want, Danny. Just simmer down, storekeeper. This here's between us two. Fine, come along. If you think you got to. No mistakes, though. Do just what I say. I tell you, you can count on me. Such a handsome man you are. Stay a little longer. Why must you always run away? You know what I'll do? I'll marry you. That way we'll have all the time in the world. Why are you? Go on, get out! Get out, you pick! Easy, Jose. <laughs> Come on, you're leaving. A real nice present, huh, girl? Think I'll take him along. As a reminder. Girls, quick, come here. Look. Don't worry, I ain't armed. Where's your boss? I want to speak to him. My boss has been waiting to meet you, gringo. It's all right, boys. Come on. <gasps> come on, girls. Wait right here. Here I am, Gringo. Now you know Akomba. I hear you are after me for some reason. Tell me. Did you imagine just how I would look or am I much different? What difference is there? You imagine the filthy smell of a rat. What's the difference when you run across one? It smells filthy any way you look at it. Either you have courage... ...or you've got no brains in your head. If you don't care about your own life, you'd better worry about that woman. 
You could cause great harm to her. The gunman saw this. Why, oh, I'm going to break every bone in your body. No, wait. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. How's my son? Four bodies are lying in a nice straight line in the cemetery at Paso Bravo. But the two of us, Zach and Barr, we're here. We're alive. Well, there's a few little things that have to be settled between the two of us. There's no cause for anyone else to get involved. But how's my son, Jackie? Tell me, gringo. You can get him back, but only if you don't get any foolish ideas. Better think a moment on it. I'm serious. You could get out of this dirty mess if you wanted to. Save yourself from getting killed. Set me loose. I thought I told you to keep your dirty mouth shut! Oh. Come on, Danny. You shouldn't be so scared by words. I mean, just think about this Hamilton. Now, what do you owe him? Nothing, do you? Now, I'm your prisoner. But if you set me free, my father would give you a reward. Just think how much I mean to him. I'll get you a pile of gold. You always buy everything, don't you? Well, you're not buying me. You're not only a woman, you're an idiot. Why, you spineless thing go crawl in a hole. You're a, you're a slave, you know, Danny. You're a peon to Hamilton. What kind of reward do you think he'll give you? Come on, set me free. I order you. <laughs> I'm the one who orders here, boy, see? Shut up! You don't order anything. A slave, that's what you are. You're nothing but a weak cow. You're nothing! You shouldn't have... You shouldn't have done that now. Position the rest of the men? Landed just right. That Jasper's in for a surprise. He couldn't escape that ambush if he was invisible. Keep your voice down. Hey, the sun's rising. The signal. Good. He's here. Drop your gun. Did you hear what I said? No guns, because Jose might get hurt. Get me first, I want Jose, and then we go get Hamilton. Come on. We agree to that when we made the deal, Hamilton. And it was part of the deal, if you'll recall, that just the two of us would meet, so why the four men? I'm a little old. And Jose, where is he? About half a mile out that way, there's a cave in the rocks. Jose will be there. Why isn't he here with you? Don't worry. You'll find him in the cave. The 
ambush will get rid of him, mate. Come on, I want to see how Jose is. be after us before you know it. <laughs> hey, get up. Who is this? He's from Rosie's saloon. Paul's drunk himself stiff. We'll take care of him later. to leave him behind. Then get me a pistol. <sighs> get me that gringo. I'll pay a thousand dollars to the man who returns with his head. I want to see it cut off and stuck on a pole. For the others. Are you crazy? Why give anyone else a cut? Sooner it's over, less people we have to share with. <sighs> That's twice now you've risked your own life helping me. And I just. You what? Treat you like you were nothing but. Nothing but a murderer? No, you have it all wrong, really. It's just when anyone goes to prison, well... You're mistaken. No one ever goes to prison. They're sent there. But I must say, I don't see... Say, were you really drunk the afternoon it took place? 
very drunk. Mary never stopped waiting for you to come back. And she kept on loving you. I was always sure you were a devil, but that's because I didn't know the devil. You ought to forget him, I used to say. I was silly and shocking, but worse, I was... I was cruel and vicious. Forgive me, will you, Gary? Don't worry, I'm sure it didn't bother Mary. <laughs> Nice image, your little Danny. It won't be long before we bring in the other. Nothing against the girl. Come on now, now promise you won't be hurt. worth a thousand dollars. Why? Well, because you're a good customer and I can borrow as many, and that's why. Got to keep good relations with the clients. (laughs) 
Afraid I'll have to charge you three dollars. to say, Gary. You don't have to say anything. And don't worry about her. All she needs is a few days rest. But Gary, he'll be coming back, and it'll be worse than before. No, this time we don't have to sit and wait for it. Make sure she's okay. Be soon. I've been thinking, Anna, what if we just packed up and got out of Paso Bravo? We could start over. I've got friends in Missouri, and they'd help us out. I don't want to go away. But we're crazy to stay here, don't you see? Won't you forgive me, Anna? I want to make up for it. Tell me what to do, whatever you like. Thought you were in hell. Devil let you go? I was just going now to see the devil. I'm gonna cut Akinbar's pretty little horns. You mean you're going out there all alone? But you're local. There are two of us, though. Both local. Oh, you hear that, Sheriff? There's two of them. I'd like the both of you in a pokey if it was up to me. See, even the Sheriff thinks you're crazy. Many thanks for your uh, opinion. Saddle up, Satan. Bring some extra ammo. Uh, Mike, that's what I like to see. All right, now there's Fari. Two and two. Wait a second. But why don't I come, too? I can handle a gun a lot better than most people. Yeah, that'll make five of us wait for me. I'll get my house. Now, wait just a minute, all of you. Hold on. Have you looked in my saloon? Danny's in there, and it's your fault, mister. Blasted full of holes. A pretty way for a boy to die, ain't it? You have my sympathies, Ruth. Thanks, mister. But your sympathies ain't worth a damn. The only thing that interests you is your vendetta. No, you're wrong. It's a lot more than a vendetta, Rosie. Go ahead, fine. Go ahead and get yourself killed, too. Fine, fine! Patrick O'Reilly's off to the battle, me boys! Do you mind if I come along, too? Older six. Who are they? We'll just be firing targets if we ride straight in. One killer, a witless deputy, an old sheriff and a poor peddler. and two idiot stoners. I'll come by! We'll give you a chance to surrender. <laughs> you see that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Okay, Padron, shall we rout the army now? No, no risks. We'll remain right here. When they try to make a dash through the courtyard, they'll be sitting ducks. We can't make it through there. It's suicide, that's all. Hey, you see those horses? That might just be a way. Huh? Wait here. Social idiot. You dumb bears, you've let them all get into the courtyard. Now we'll have to flush them out. So get out there and do it. Shall we go out the front door? By the front door, yes. Where else? Get going, you'll be covered. All right, Joe. Collins. You, Andy, come on. Let's go. There they are, Sheriff. Yeah, Jonathan. I see them too. Hey, boss, I don't see no one. Well, look around then, you idiot. Oh boy, got mine. Got him right here. You dumb halfwit, get out! Cover me. Yeah, yeah, go. Get bandaged whiskey. You all horses? Mm-hmm. Mm. Is it really true horses being killed? Yeah. 
Well, then maybe Akumbar will let us go. To his health. He didn't live long, but he lived good. Pfft. Poor kid. Watch out! Where's that vomit? Right around the corner. Hold your fire a moment, all of you. Hold your fire. Akambar! Akambar! I'm calling you! Can you hear? We got you surrounded. Surrender! I promise you a fair trial, but that's all. It's your last chance. Listen to me, Mr. Sheriff. I swear I'll make you regret the hour you were born. Before the day is over, I'm going to burn both you and your companions alive. Well, no, I don't think so, Akambar. Who spoke there? I did, Akambar. Jonathan Sheridan. Storekeeper, you should have remained behind your counter. Show your face! You're finished with killing people, do you hear, Akinbar? Show your face! No, don't move, Jonathan! Well, I'm waiting, Stalker! Show your face! Uh. 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 Imagine that, calling me a clerk. Too slow. Hey, okay. You missed, you idiot. Mm, he ducked off a fast though. The other window. <sighs> He's trapped now. Keep your eyes on the terrace. You must be ready, men. In just one moment, he will be very dead. Zakabar did it. <laughs> Sheriff Donovan, listen. I hear you. Zakabar is crazy. Don't shoot anymore. Stick your hands over your heads and come out. Leave your weapons inside there. That's impossible because Zakabar is sitting upstairs. He would pick us off from there. Well, there's nothing I can do then. Stay in there. <laughs> you coward. That fire! 
fireplace. There's no cover there. You've got too many mirrors. I can see you plain as daylight. Yeah, a little bit high, friend. Aim to the stove and the bullet ricochet next to your head. Let's see what happens if I try aiming a bit lower. Now that table's no good as cover, I can bar. Next bullet's going right through your head if you're not careful. You better duck. Seems you really like to admire yourself, because you sure got plenty of mirrors there. No, I can bar, don't try, it's hopeless. You've got too many. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the stove, I can bar. No, don't try to escape, I can bar. You're never gonna make it. Hamilton, listen, I... No more, I surrender. Please don't shoot. I'm surrendering to you. Do you hear, Gringo? I'm all through. I'm surrendering. It's a bit late, I can bar. You should have been thinking about it four years ago. The night you burned Murray's house, think of that night in the name... Hamilton. And you'll remember my wife and daughter were in that house. It's a fine oil lamp there. Know what's inside? Fire! The fire you like to play with. No, Gary! Not that, no! What did she say? She said, best of luck to the devil who's crippled. If you don't mind if I uh, leave this gear with you, the truth of the matter is politics and me. Uh... Yeah, I understand. Leave it with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be seeing you, Rosie. You're hopeless, boy. You really got a thing for the ladies. True. But Paso Bravo is a bit too small to have three at once. Three? You've forgotten Mary. You know. My wife. Uh, I know what you mean. He might set a quail cowboy. He cercherà. Chester in Pugna, 
pronto quando verrà ora per chi lo tradì altra legge per lui non c'è nulla lo fermerà quando quell'ora verrà ora si sa quel cowboy cosa nel cuore e dove andrà la resa d'un conto sospeso ma sovra